Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can set up Visual Studio Code to start a new project. So one of the first things you're going to do is you need to click on the little files. If there's nothing open at the moment, you can click on Open Folder. Um, I'm going to head to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it Digital Solutions and click on Create. And then I'm just going to click on Open. This will then associate files with that digital solution. So you also then end up with some little icons here where you can add subfolders, you can also add new files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new file, I'm just going to call it index.html and press enter and you notice that it opens up a blank HTML document. At this point I can click between the tabs at the top but I'm going to close the tab down so it's only this one document. Um, you can add other files as well so contact us dot html and you can see that it'll open those up as well I can also add things like um, account dot php and you'll notice that you can actually see that it's associated with the php icon there that comes through a plugin or an extension but we'll have a look at those in a moment so from our index now we can actually click between them I'm just going to close these other two tabs down. If I want to open them up again, all I have to do is double click and I'll open those up. Now, the first thing you want to do with the HTML document is get the boilerplate up. So you can do that several different ways, but the quickest way to do is just put in an explanation mark and Emmett will then create the boilerplate for you. So Emmett is a very useful little tool that does some little package typing for you and that will help you accelerate your build. The other thing you can do if you can't remember that one, if you go HTML, you can see this HTML5 here, and Emmett then will build the boilerplate for you as well. So you've got two ways of doing it, just an explanation mark or using HTML column 5. So that gets you underway. Now you notice up the top there is a little dot here. That means this page has not been saved yet. There's multiple things open, so I'll just quickly create a boilerplate for this one. So you can see there's two different files open. And I'll just quickly put a HTML boilerplate here, even though it's a PHP document. And you see there's three documents. If I go Command S, that saves just the file that I'm on. You notice now that's got an, a closed tab now. But if I go Command Option S, you notice the other two pages have saved at the same time. So Command Option S does a save all for all tabs that are open. So even if there's some documents in here, just go Hi, um, go in here and go hi and the last one hi and go command option s you can see them save all together if I go command shift s I can do a save as and I can call this one like test html and you can see that test html has now been saved in our list now if I leave Visual Studio Code the next time I open this up, you'll notice it's remembered that I've been using this folder. So it's a good idea that you put a folder in a place that you're not going to be shifting it around. So it can associate and you notice it's opened up the last file tabs that I had open and I can easily close those down or reopen them. So I hope you found this tutorial useful in just getting started. In the next one we'll have a look at some extensions.